If there's one downside to being an astronaut, it's that none of the food delivery apps work up in space. So how do astronauts get fresh meals? We sent Fig to meet with horticulturist Lachelle Spencer to find out. In many ways, life on the International Space Station is a dream. Cutting edge science, sweeping views of Earth, and you can do that thing where you float around. But one thing that's missing, plants. That's why today we're talking to Lachelle Spencer, a lead horticulturist at NASA's Space Food Crop Production Facility. At Johnson Space Center, we pretended to go to a asteroid for 30 days. We were completely uh, cut off, and we had the opportunity to grow little plants as part of experiments. And we all learned firsthand how important it is to bring those smells and those textures with us because everything else is hard and sterile and these soft colors and textures has a real calming effect. Today, I'm at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida to learn how horticulturists like Lachelle are sowing the seeds for interplanetary travel. So what does it take to grow plants in space? At home, it can be difficult, but it's even more difficult in space. Yeah. The way water interacts in space, it can adhere to surfaces. And sometimes if there's too much, it'll completely adhere to roots and drown our plants. We're also trying to figure out the right lighting spectrum. When we get to LED lights, some plants don't necessarily wow. respond to those narrow band wavelengths. We have the capability of mimicking the environmental conditions in a space cabin environment. We can adjust the temperature, the humidity, and the CO2 so that it's just like what the astronauts experience up there. What are some experiments that you get to do here? The most interesting experiments is screening lots of different crops. Okay. These crops aren't always happy with that environment I mentioned earlier. We had a number of strawberries that we screened. We've done beans and peas, tomatoes and peppers. Beans, greens, tomatoes, potatoes, lettuce. <laughs> I didn't want to do it, right? <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to be able to use those plants to provide vital nutrients that degrade in their packaged food during long missions, possibly help provide a little piece of home and some psychological support. These massive environmental growth chambers are filled with some of NASA's other experiments, like how different levels of silver biocide affect lettuce. Or this chamber, filled with a bumper crop of microgreens. So these are only seven days old. And what's cool about these is we can grow a lot of produce in a small, compact space. And microgreens, depending on the variety, can have up to nine times the nutritional content as a mature variety. By harvesting the crops, Lachelle checks to see which plants thrive or struggle under conditions they might experience in a space capsule. We're normally weighing them and collecting their fresh weight. We'll dry them so that we can collect dry weights. We'll also send them to labs to get nutritional analysis to make sure that they have the vitamins and minerals that we want to target. And you don't only want astronauts to eat microgreens, right? There are so many other crops that we're researching here that we would love to see our astronauts take part in. Is the goal to send crops to another planet? It's ultimately our greatest goal to have a full greenhouse, full of plants, full of a wide variety of textures and flavors. The work that you do is literally interplanetary. What does it mean for you to be a part of the team? That I have left a valuable mark on science. If I stop tomorrow, the things that I've done up until now will have a lasting effect. It means that I've supported mankind's desire to go forth and explore while we're not astronauts, we're, we're not going to space, we're not riding rockets, but we are so important to the mission and the goal. So as a woman and a woman of color, what does it mean for you to be opening up doors for other women to come behind you? It means a lot to me. Me being here with my background is so important for people coming behind me, knowing that there's people here that have blazed that trail for them. Well, thank you so much, Lachelle. So glad you came, thank you. I'm kind of in the mood for a salad. I don't know why, but I've got some good vinaigrette. Wanna go try some? Sure. All right. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.